Hi, welcome to the Aqua Gen 01 review video. Let's go already! What's up, guys? Saul here. Hope your day is going well. So, today we'll be checking out the Aqua Gen 01 or 01. That is very interesting. You have been promoted. You are now one of my elite employees. Honestly, this keyboard blew me away by the stock sound. I even shared it in our Discord chat, and a lot of you guys seem to think the same thing too. For a stock keyboard, this sounds really good. The stabs sound good. It's a deep, creamy sound. Shout out to Echo for making this keyboard and for sending it out to me. There's so many different things going great for this keyboard, and it's definitely one keyboard that I will recommend. It will also go down as one of the best keyboards to come out this year. I'm calling it right now. But before we get started, I would like you guys to know I do have desk mats available. I think they look really good. Use code SAUCE at checkout, and thank you guys so much for your support. Anyway, let's get started. So this is the Aco Gen 01 Santorini and Santorini is for the keycaps. That's the theme of this keyboard. For those of you who don't know, Santorini is a small island in Greece. So one of the beautiful islands and this keyboard captures that very well, especially with the sound. We will do a sound test and a game test later on in the video. I'll show you all the cool parts to the keyboard. The first thing you'll notice about the keyboard is it's not light. It's an aluminum keyboard and it's definitely not light at all. And that improves on the sound quality because it's thick. The keyboard doesn't sound hollow at all. There's a really good amount of foam inside. I'll show you all the foam inside. I'll take the keyboard completely apart. But one thing I would like you guys to know is this keyboard is not meant to be taken apart. You can just change the switches and the keycaps and keep it that way. But dismantling the whole keyboard and putting like tape mod and doing all that other stuff is definitely not something I would recommend. You can definitely change out the stabilizers if you wanted to though. In the box, this keyboard does come with a switch puller and then a keycap puller. And it also comes with the manual, a USB-C cable, extra switches, and the 2.4 gigahertz dongle. Pretty standard stuff. There is another version of this keyboard with a different theme and a different name. It's not called the Gen 01. It's called something else, but it's a similar keyboard to this one. And that theme is like brown and it has mountains, I think. So if you don't like this theme, check out that one. As I mentioned earlier, this keyboard is aluminum. It comes with 68 keys on it. It's a 65% keyboard. The keycaps are Santorini themed cherry profile keycaps and they're PBT die sub. There's a really good amount of sound dampening in this keyboard as well. So this keyboard is not VIA or QMK compatible, but it does come with the Aco Cloud Driver software, which you can change different things on the keyboard, like the lighting effects, keys, macros, all that extra stuff. And this keyboard is tri-mode. It has Bluetooth, 2.4 gigahertz, or using it with the cable. The switches are the most exciting thing about this keyboard because these are the Aco Rosewood switch. They're factory lubed, five pin, and linear. I've been trying Aco switches this whole year, and these are definitely one of the top linear switches I've tried from Aco. To give you an idea, these are better than the Aco Cream Yellow V3 Pros. I know a lot of you have that switch, and that's a great comparison. This keyboard is hot swappable as well, so you can take out the switches and try it with three pin or five pin switches. It is also gasket mounted, which makes the type and feel softer. For $120, this is definitely solid.
And for my final thoughts, I think this keyboard is really good. For $120, this is definitely a steal. This is one of the best keyboards I've tried this whole year. The sound quality stock is one of the best. The switches, stock, one of the best. The stabilizer stock, pretty good. And the design, top tier. I will keep talking about this keyboard throughout this year and later on, honestly, because this is definitely one of the best keyboards I've tried this whole year. For $120, this is definitely comparable to something like the Neo 65. And this is pre-built and cheaper. So I have to get you guys onto this keyboard because it's one of the best, especially for a stock aluminum tri-mode RGB gasket mounted keyboard. Some of you might say, oh, it doesn't have the quick release, but keep in mind, not everybody needs to change their keyboard out 24 seven. If you're looking for a solid built keyboard and all you need to do is just change your switches and keycaps, this is one of the best aluminum keyboards for that. And if you don't like the theme Santorini, you can change the keycaps out. It does have that blue aluminum piece at the top though, so you might have to match that with whatever you put on the keyboard. All in all, this is a solid keyboard. Shout out to Aqua for sending this keyboard out. This keyboard definitely surprised me. If you would like to see me mod this keyboard with different switches and keycaps, comment below and let me know. I will be posting it more on my short section. And yeah, that's all I have for this keyboard. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment below, what do you think about this keyboard? Is the Akko Gen 01 Santorini a keyboard for you? I honestly think it should be. As I mentioned earlier, I did release some desk mats, so if you would like to support the channel, that's a great way to support the channel. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.